Well, secondhand sales are increasing as consumers look to save money on everything from household goods to high-end items. But before you meet up with a potential buyer or seller, there are some steps you should take to ensure a safe exchange. Here's NBC's Vicki Wynn. I found this couch on Facebook Marketplace. Re-commerce is booming. One person's trash, not only another one's treasure, but also a way to save money. I bought so many amazing things on Craigslist throughout the years, like couches, light fixtures. In 2021, a record 272 million Americans bought or sold secondhand goods, roughly the number of people who own a smartphone. Online searches for used cars, clothes, and electronics have all increased in the past six months. While it's ideal to get things sent or delivered, sometimes an in-person exchange is required, which can be dangerous. In Houston, police say a man robbed at gunpoint during a meetup to sell his car. In New York City, a police officer gunned down buying a used car. In Cincinnati, a woman arrested after stealing $15,000 at a meetup, according to police. Oh my God, what did I just do? I just lost all my life savings. So whether you are buying or selling, there are some important tips you want to follow to make sure that you are safe. With me now is Mike Sapriconi. He's a former NYPD detective and a global security expert. Mike, thanks for joining. So we are here now at a buy, sell, safe exchange zone. What exactly is this place? It's a police station. It's open 24 hours a day. It has surveillance. It's the perfect place for you to come to buy or sell something from a stranger. Police stations around the country have established safe exchange zones like this one in Yonkers, New York. And it's safe because there are police officers coming and going. All the time. There's always going to be patrol cars, officers coming on duty, going off duty, and you got the cameras and the lights. Really a good place. So, Mike, you choose a location to meet up. What should you do when you get there? If you're driving and you get there, you should make sure your car doesn't get boxed in so that you're in a situation where you can't get out if you had to get out. If you arrive first, be aware of your surroundings and look for red flags. If somebody comes with no license plates on the car, there's a group of people in the car. If there's blacked out windows, these are all red flags that you should know about that should make you think twice. Always go with your gut. Be vigilant. You don't want to become a victim. Bring a friend with you and make sure loved ones know where you are. Try to meet during daylight hours. So, Mike, let's talk about the actual exchange of goods and money. What do we need to know to stay safe? Let's make sure the product works, okay? We should always do that before we exchange any money. And never bring a lot of cash with you. Bring what you need to pay for that item. Mike suggests getting a certified or cashier's check from a bank. But secondhand shopping safety starts before you even make the purchase. Yonkers Police Chief Joseph Monaco encourages shoppers to be aware. What's your public safety message to folks? I would say do your research. Try and find out who you're selling uh, or, or dealing with online or who you're purchasing from. These transactions can be safe. People do them all the time. But you you got to have your guard up, right? Absolutely. It's 2023. People don't necessarily walk into a store anymore and uh, hand their money over a counter. Safety first when buying secondhand.